Hi, my name is Marion Kelmer and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois. I'm also the founder and the owner of Kelmer Cornheads. And uh, today here at the Commodity Classic, it's an honor to be joined by Allison Vogel, a uh, PhD student at the University of Illinois. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, just getting ready to graduate this year and move on out into the real world. But uh, while you were at the University of Illinois, you were doing research on residue and the importance of sizing that residue. Mm -hmm. And um, so tell us a little bit about the study. I think you have two corn heads and one had standard stalk rolls and the other one had the BT choppers on it. Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned, we have two combine heads, one with just a standard stock roll and then one that has been retrofitted with that calmer BT chopper. So that, that stock roll uh, that's sizing the residue an inch and a quarter. And so we're actually uh, sizing that residue in the fall at harvest with that combine head in both um, corn that's rotated with soybean as well as corn that is following corn. So that's going to be accumulating even more residue as well as um, the corn that's uh, rotated with soybean will yield more. So also it's going to have a lot of residue that needs to be managed and that's why we're looking at trying to size it and actually enhance the decomposition rate. Um, okay. If we can try to manage that residue in place like that and get it to decompose a little bit faster, um, hopefully that will kickstart any uh, nutrient release and nutrient availability. And that's kind of the goal with this particular study, managing that residue in place. Awesome. So a after you got done harvesting, did you come in and perform some tillage and, and uh, take us on into the spring? Sure. Um, so we have we have so a setup site and we also have our, our current site. So there's two different situations. One, we left in no-till where we actually assessed the residue decay. And so we're taking samples and then we're leaving them out there over winter and we're actually looking at, by t planting time, how much residue was lost by our different treatments of either standard or sized residue. And um, in that particular instance, we're looking at about a 7% advantage with wow. the sizing of the residue. But then in the actual site where we get uh, all of our yield, we're, we're also making those same treatments of standard or size, but uh, that actually is conventionally tilled. It gets a deep rip in the fall and then uh, uh, field cultivation in the spring. That's wonderful. So, that, you know, from my farmer's point of view, that the, the thing that bothers me the most is when I'm out there trying to plant, um, especially in 15 inch rows, if I've got a lot of residue, mm -hmm. well, then it starts to ball up in the planter. And so I've got the mechanical side of things. But tell us about the benefits, you know, once once you've got the crop in the ground and, and you've got bigger pieces on one side and the little pieces on the other side, what kind of effect is that having on emergence? Yes, and that is something that we absolutely wanted to assess. We checked it out over fall, we saw enhanced decay. So what was happening once we had things in the ground with those plants coming up and we did assess emergence every every day of emergence for several weeks, lots of fun. Oh um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, but we did see an advantage uh, to the sizing res of the sized residue that BT Comer chopped residue um, in both rotations. So Good. if it was sized, it had a a percent advantage every single day of emergence and then in the end had a slight advantage in just stand overall. So good. very, very good positive just uh, starting things out for the growing season, setting that potential. Well, that's good. I, as farmers, you know, we, we like to see come out of the ground as evenly, yes. as quickly as possible and it's uh, warmer. So now let's let's talk about in the summertime that we've got the tassels are coming out. You're in a continuous corn environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got the uh, the uh, size residue and, and the uh, the standard uh, length residue and, and visually, um, can you see any difference in the in the look of that crop? Mm -hmm. That's that's a great question. We 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 try to get in there and take visual assessments as much as possible because we want to see if something's going on if we can capture that. And so I have been able to go in there after after tassel, and that's when. Uh, in continuous corn in particular, you start to see the stress of not having those nutrients available. And uh, so I went in there and was looking at the soil surface as well as the plant health mm -hmm. and comparing in corn on corn, comparing the standard and size, you can visually see it on the soil surface. Yeah. There's virtually no residue in the sized 
um, portion compared to the standard, and it's much more like when it's been rotated with, with soybean almost. And then the actual plants, you can see visually just greener plants, less firing of leaves. It's just, you can tell it um, has had more nutrient available. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's uh, something that we as farmers always look at is mm -hmm. getting it late into the season yeah. there. We're starting to see the firing, which mm -hmm. shows the... So, let's wrap it all up here, and, and uh, you folks are all about uh, keeping track of the yield yes. and <laughs> all that scientific data yep, and yep. statistics and everything. So, <laughs> in, in your opinion, tell us what you think the difference is between the, mm -hmm. the BT choppers and, and standard. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of, it'll always depend on that year's weather, of course. But over the years that I've been studying this past three years, we've ranked anywhere from, from 6 to 11 bushels. Wow. Um, and you really get that advantage in corn on corn. Just more residue out there, if you're managing it, you will see that advantage, that 11 bushel advantage. Um, and then, uh, in addition to that, we're also looking at um, trying to enhance even further the sizing with yep. some uh, stimulants, biostimulants. When you add that with the size, you get a 15 bushel response. Wow. So it's just, that's, that's what's gonna be helping you out, 15 bushels, but even just sizing it will give you the 11 bushel response. So it's fantastic responses that we've seen very consistently the past three years we've been doing this research. Well, that's, uh, that's great to hear because the uh, commodity prices have come down. Yes. And for those of us that farm, <laughs> you know, a 15 bushel advantage mm -hmm. simply by not having to spend a lot of money. Yep. And of a thousand acre farm, I mean, that's 15,000 bushels of corn. And at four dollars, I, I mean, there's there's sixty thousand dollars. So, I, I think your research has, has been great, and helping all of us that farm to head in the right direction to become more profitable. So, uh, we wish you well as Thank as you uh, leave the college uh, atmosphere and, and move into the the real world. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we look forward. You'll be a great asset to the to the ag sector. Thank so, you. it's been great today yeah. to, to have Allison with us and. Uh, uh, for those of you that are here at the Commodity Classic um, or able to view it after it's uh, uh, been presented, but Saturday morning at 10.30? Yeah, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yep. Uh, they will be on the main stage over here. Um, her and uh, her professor, Dr. Bilo, uh, will be talking about residue, whether it's your friend or your foe. And we hope you all take time to go over there and listen to them or catch it later, uh, maybe on a website somewhere. So. With that, uh, it's been uh, great visiting with you, and uh, we look forward to uh, um, maybe seeing all of you uh, someday in the future stopping by our booth, and we can explain these advantages as well. Thank you, and have a great day.